In this video, we're going to be providing a full review and tutorial into Speechify, the popular AI text-to-speech software. We'll be going over all the different features this AI tool has to offer and how to use them. Before we dive in, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. To sign up, we simply need to go to Speechify.com and click login in the top right. Then we need to click create account at the top. From here, we have the option to sign up with Google, Apple, Facebook, or with an email. Once we've logged in, we'll be presented with this screen. In the middle, we can drag and drop the document we want to be read by Speechify, or we can upload from our device. We are able to upload docs files such as Word documents, EPUB files, PDFs, spreadsheets, and text files. Underneath, there are a variety of other sources we can upload from such as Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive and Canvas. I'm simply going to click Google Drive as I've already got this connected, then select the files which I want to upload. This is a story which was generated by ChatGPT. Speechify will now load the document into its player. Once loaded, we can simply click the play button as so. The Narain Collector. They called her June, though no one knew if that was her real name. She lived at the edge of the city where the glass towers thinned and the old brick roads began to crumble. As you've just heard, Speechify just read our document, which we just uploaded in a high quality, realistic sounding voice. If we click the person icon in the bottom left, we can choose from over 200 different voices in a variety of different languages and accents. As you can see, they have some well-known voices which you may recognize, such as Snoop Dogg and Mr. Beast. I'm going to go to all the voices and choose one from here. If it says premium next to the voice, you will unfortunately have to upload to the paid plan to download this voice and listen to it offline, but we can listen to it for free on this player to see if we like it. If you click on any voice, it'll give you a preview of what it sounds like. Hi, my name is Jessica. I speak in American English. I'm going to go for this and then click play. Twerk of solar panels, vines and rusted metal, and it rained there more than anywhere else in the world. If we click the speed icon in the bottom right, we can increase the speed the document is being read to us. For example, or so people said, June collected rain not water. For that, there were purifiers and synthetics and replicators. No, she collected actual rain. This is useful if you would like to get through a document quickly and efficiently. As you can see, to go above 1.5 times speed, you will need to be on a paid plan. At the top, we have an option to share the document and download it. If we go back out, all the documents will be saved to My Library, where you can easily access them. If we click the three dots on each, we have the option to rename it, move it to a different folder, share it, open it, and delete it. Now, the premium Speechify plan starts at $11.58 per month, and if you go for yearly plan it is $29 per month. On the paid plan you have full access to over 200 premium voices in over 60 different languages. You are able to scan text and listen to it. You can listen to your documents at much faster speeds and you have the option for advanced skipping and importing. Speechify also has a mobile app which can be installed from the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. If we open the app and log in, we have the same options as the web app. We can import different documents from a variety of different sources. We also have the option to upload books from Kindle. If we click the scan button, it allows us to take a picture of any document, then click listen. It will read out any text on that document, just like this. 11 plus B-I-U-A-G, the locksmith of Windhill in the town of Windhill. If we click link, we can paste a link to any website, then click listen, then it will bring that web page's text up on the Speechify app, and you can listen to it from here. For both of these features, on the free plan, you only have access to limited voices. The library tab stores all our files, web page and image history, so you can go back exactly where you left off. All the documents we uploaded on the web app will also appear here. If we click the bookstore tab, we can browse through a large variety of different books which you can listen to. To. That's all we have for this review and tutorial on Speechify. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video.